Oh, what's up guys? Nick here helping you to master your technology. Today, we're gonna do what is on my iPhone early 2018. Coming up right now, let's go. So here we are, my iPhone for early 2018, the red iPhone, got the shoes matching and everything. You guys know that I like the iPhone 8 Plus a little bit more than the iPhone 10. So this is what I'm rocking out with for the month of April 2018 or early 2018. You can see the product red edition is covered by a clear case by a company called JE Tech. I'll leave the link to the case that I'm rocking on this iPhone down below in the description if you want to pick one up for your iPhone 8 Plus. Okay guys, so the first thing I want to talk about is the wallpaper I'm rocking. It's the latest wallpaper that comes in 11.4 beta 2. You can get it now. I'll leave a link to download that wallpaper. I'm going to post it on my Twitter so you guys can get this wallpaper on the iPhone 8 Plus or 10 or SE or whatever you guys are rocking. Okay guys, so here are the applications I do have on the home screen. I actually have about three pages on this iPhone, well maybe four, and let's go through the ones that I really wanna discuss here. So up at the top, I have some of the basic applications. We're talking calendar, photo clock, and weather. So those are just some basic apps, but what I do wanna talk about quite a bit is the Weather Underground. Now Weather Underground is an awesome application because you can make something called Smart Forecast, which basically allows you to pick how you want to see the weather so if you're a biker you go running you do landscape photography or fishing stargazing or any of these activities you can set it up to your liking and it'll tell you if that's a good day to actually do that you know activity so that's what i really like about the weather underground application i do recommend it app store and notes i use apple notes quite a bit to do some video ideas adt paul security the secret i've talked about it plenty of times from the movie the secret by Rhonda bryant about the law of attraction and just being more positive about your money mindset I do recommend checking this application out if you you know struggle with thinking positively about money so coming home let's go into the next application so I do have some business related stuff calculator sheets in my bank and then YouTube in the studio so the studio application is where you're gonna go ahead and look at your analytics for your videos I'm not gonna open that up Google keep here is for you know doing some more i would say a little bit more intricate note taking where i would like color coat the notes notes in the application that's where google keep comes into play because you have multiple different colors i do use google chrome quite a bit because it syncs across multiple devices here especially you know coming on the iphone where they keep safari as a default browser google chrome comes in handy below that i have amazon and appy geek some people said oh, it's not called a pie geek well appy geek whatever you want to call it this application is kind of a mixture of multiple sources and you could read about tech and really just make sure you're staying up to date with everything that's going on in the tech industry based on what are your interests. You actually pick your own interests. So I love that application there. Evernote is a more detailed note-taking app when you're really gonna write some stuff that, you know, you're gonna sit down and actually write notes, nothing quick like Google Keep or Apple Notes. That's where I go to Evernote. Now, if you don't have Kindle on your phone by now, I don't know what rock you've been living under because you can get basically access to millions of books and a lot of them are free actually. And the best ones aren't free, of course. You gotta pay to play, but on the Kindle app, it's like having a whole library. Wherever you go, you can always read at any time. In addition to that, I am an Amazon Prime member, so I do have the Audible application, which allows me to store multiple audio books in here and just listen to books if I don't have time to actually read them, which a lot of people don't have time to actually sit down and read, so I do that. The TubeBuddy application is a great application for YouTube research. If you are a YouTuber, you make YouTube videos whenever, you might wanna do your research on SEO to see if people are actually searching for the video you want to make. It's very important and crucial before actually making some content that you do this because this way you know that at least people are searching for it. My video has half a chance to do well. Google Calendar also syncs up with different Android devices. If you notice, I do use a lot of applications that need to sync between Android and iOS because I don't only use iPhones. I use Androids, iPhones, Windows computers, Macs. I use the whole ball of wax, so I have to be able to sync things up. Second page, just podcast watching some extra apps from Apple, nothing in there that I installed myself. 9 to 5 Max, a nice reading source for Apple News. I'm sure you've heard of them before. Airbnb for booking like trips. You know, I'm going on a trip to California later this year and I do have that booked in Airbnb. And that's awesome because you don't have to pay hotels or anything like that to book a trip. I do use Amazon Music and a lot of people say, well, why do you use Amazon Music? You got Apple Music, you got Spotify. These are all better. Well, it's because Amazon Music comes free basically with my Prime subscription. The Apple Store for when I do want to take a look at some new Apple products 
that do come out without actually going to the store. This is a great application to do that. Coming home, I do have B&H Photo, which is probably the mecca of, you know, gear for like tech YouTubers and even anybody who's doing anything video or photography based, you definitely want to check out B&H Photo. They got pretty much any technology product on planet Earth that you could think of. Next up is the Best Buy application and then Calm for getting some meditation on with your phone. It really does help to meditate quite a bit if you do want to just listen to some things or just, you know, get relaxed, reduce some stress. I do definitely recommend Calm application. It's great for stuff like that. Canon Camera Connect, I'm actually filming this right now on a Canon camera. I'm not sure if you can see that right there, but filming that right now on a Canon. And Canva for doing some graphic design work straight from your mobile. This is an amazing application. It's also found on Android as well. So if you wanna use Canva on Android, you got it there as well. City Mapper is a great application to get around your city by public transit. It has a very smartly laid out list of streets and things like that so you don't get lost in your city. Check out City Mapper, Apple Clips, you know what eBay is, Apple Health Wallet for Apple Pay, Google Maps, Play Newsstand for reading, you know, more technology or any news that does pop up. I like to have a lot of sources to go to so I'm not, you know, having a bias of one particular source. So I go to the technology tab and I just read a bunch of different sources here from the Play Newsstand. So that's nice. Splasher is a great application. If you want to download some awesome looking wallpapers for your iPhone, check out the Splasher app. This thing is amazing. It's a great application for doing just that. On the next page, I do have the application Feedly. That's another source for combining news sources in one. So you can see I do like to read quite a bit. Over here, I do have Flixster for when I want to go to the movies. I check out what is playing in movies. Also, Fujicate for scanning food items and seeing how healthy an item really is. So don't be fooled by the labels. You might want to take a look at Fujicate, scan it, and see the grade it gets because it can look healthy. It can say, this is healthy on the box, but it's actually absolute crap. For your body gmail google photos headspace another meditation app i do have imovie for video editing luma fusion for serious video editing doing things like setting projects to 60 fps and things like that this is more of a professional style of video editor for your phone so you definitely want to check this out if you're getting serious about video on your mobile phone this is more of a professional style video for your phone so you definitely want to check out luma fusion if you want to get serious about your phone watermark for watermarking my instagram photos Lightroom is a great application for editing photos on your mobile phone. A lot of people do know about this to do photography, so check that out. I got my Straight Talk account. Yes, I use Straight Talk because it gives you the freedom to not have to be tied to a carrier, and I like that. I can go to any carrier I want, but I choose a prepaid carrier because, well, I got freedom on that plan. The Letterbox application is awesome. If you guys ever watch movies and you're like, which one should we watch? Check out the Letterbox app. You can go ahead and check out movie reviews and stuff like that straight from your Letterbox application. It's awesome. Numerical for having history on a calculator. For some reason, I don't know why Apple just doesn't put history in their calculator. An on-off percentage. I do have an off-on percentage calculator for doing percentages. This is pretty useful when I need to do percentages. PayPal and Udemy for taking online courses and Pocket for basically sharing any of your online articles that you might want to read later right on your phone. On my last and final page, I do have the Prime Video for Amazon Prime Video. I do have trailers for looking at more you know, movies. I do have a lot of duplicates of applications, but that's because sometimes one doesn't work well, so I just go to the other one. So you notice I have a lot of news readers. I have two you know, theater applications. I have multiple streaming services like Netflix and Prime Video. And then under marketing folder, I do have Instagram and Twitter. The reason I labeled it marketing is because if I label it social media, I'm just gonna wanna keep pressing it and going in there and wasting time. So I labeled it marketing. Ventra for like my CTA bus card and stuff like that. Just Chicago transit thing for the bus. And then Watermark, another duplicate app for watermarking photos. So that's pretty much it guys. That's what I'm rocking out. iPhone 8 Plus Red. Anyway, do you have any apps, awesome applications you wanna share with the community? Make sure to drop them down below in the comment section of this video. If you found this helpful, enjoyable, do me a favor, click that like button for me. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well and peace.